That's the panel inside. There are breakers, wires, Here, this silver colored bar on the right hand side of the breakers and the same on the left hand side. These are neutral bars. Their purpose is return of current. They will have a potential only if any one of devices is working and current is returning to the panel after visiting light bulbs, receptacles with working equipment. Here we have the ground bar. It is hidden from our eyes behind the wires. The same is on another side. Here in the bottom of the panel there are designed spots for knockouts. One of them, this one. I shall remove and install the transformer for our doorbell instead. Our transformer has such knob with a nut designed to attach the transformer to the panel or a device box through the removed knockout and to bring the wires inside safely. Now I shall remove the knockout and attach the transformer. I take a big slot screwdriver and with the help of pliers carefully knock inner disc out. Then I take needle nose pliers and carefully break the disc making sure that I don't damage the outer ring. The outer ring is designed for an attachment with a bigger diameter. I shall not be able to fasten the transformer if I damaged the outer ring of knockout. And now I am carefully bringing the wires from transformer inside the panel. We should avoid any contacts with any bars or breakers. Now I am bringing the transformer inside and fasten it to the panel with a nut. Before I started to connect this wire to the transformer, I would like to draw your attention to this gap. It happened because the panel was installed according to the old electrical rules. Those rules required using a piece of drywall as a fire stop gasket between the panel and the plywood board. However, new timber materials, now like a plywood, are treated with special chemicals that make them fire rated and it is not needed to install the panel with a gasket any longer. It can be installed directly onto the plywood. To get rid of the gap and attach the transformer properly, I use the small piece of another plywood. I am carefully inserting it into the gap and screwing the transformer to the board. Now it is fully attached, nothing will tear it off and not any problem should happen. Now I can connect the wire to the contacts of the transformer. After this transformer both output contacts are phases. It will be AC on both of them and it is only 20 volts. So in this case it doesn't matter 
which wire I should connect to which contact, and it is safe to leave these contacts open. Here we are. Before I do connections, I would like to introduce you the very important table that demonstrates color code of SC wires by countries that I created. Today I am talking only about construction wires of a single phase electrical system. There are also flexible cords and three phase system. They have sometimes different color codes, but I am not covering those systems in today's video, as they are not related to our topic. You can remember or take notes of your color codes or return here anytime if you needed information again. In Australia and New Zealand, the active hot live wire, call it wherever is familiar for you, in a single phase system is colored red. In Canada and United States, where we have two single phases supplying the panel, they are black and red respectively. In European Union and in Russia, it is brown wire. In South Africa, like in Australia, the phase wire of a single phase system is colored red. Neutral or common construction wire in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa is colored black. In Canada and USA, it is white or light gray. In European Union, and Russia it is blue. The earth or ground wire in Australia and New Zealand is colored strip green and yellow. In Canada and United States there are three choices, either green or strip green and yellow or just a bare copper. In European Union and Russia, like in Australia, it is strip green and yellow. And in South Africa, there are two choices, either strip green and yellow or bare copper wire. In Australia, they also have so-called switched active wire. That is wire that returns phase from a switch to a device, for example lighting socket. That wire is colored white. Well, please remember the color code of AC wires for your region and you will protect yourself, your family and your neighbors from an electrical shock that can be deadly. Now the last step in the installation of the doorbell. We need to connect these three wires from the transformer to where they should be. As I just told you about the color code, we have here a black wire. It is phase and it must be connected to a breaker. We have a white wire. It is neutral and we must connect it to the neutral bar. And we have a green wire. It is ground wire and it must be connected to the ground bar. As you can see, these wires are very short. And only the neutral wire can reach the lowest or the second lowest screw of the neutral bar. To connect the ground wire, it is impossible to reach the ground bar at all. That's why I shall be using so-called pigtails the additional pieces of a wire of corresponding color and join the wires by means of these marets. The generic name is wire nut. First, I am connecting the ground wire. I am looking for an empty hole in the ground bar. It looks like it is here. 